just glassed a group of bucks up. Looks like there's five or six bucks right on top of this ridge line up in some pines. One buck looks like he's a, a really tall three. Might have a crab claw on the backside to make him a four. We'll wait and see, but it's a buck that we've seen in here if it is. It's a really tall buck, and uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll, if they move, if they bed, we'll have to see what happens on how we're to make this stock work. Okay, the bucks that went over the hill right now, they just crested over and it looks like they're gonna bet on the back side of this ridge. So we've gotta make a loop all the way around them real quick. And hopefully we'll be able to glass this buck up in his bed. It looks like it could be real thick where they're headed, but hopefully with four or five bucks there together, we'll be able to at least find the group and then just wait till we can pick him out of an oak thicket or a pine in some shade. It's just all burnt in here with a lot of oaks and jack pines. So we should be able to find him when we get around the corner here. There's somewhere we can find him. We just found the buck we're looking for. He's just straight across on a ridge right here across from us, right at 200 yards. So he's bedded up in some oaks real tight. Hopefully we can get Pat in position and get a shot before he decides to leave. He looks at us every now and then, but I don't think he really knows what's happening yet. yards. One and done. I like those short shots. Not too bad. Little double point. Decent nine guards. Day six of the Arizona General Rifle Hunt. I've been hunting with a lot of clients, and Bat's been glassing bucks on his own because I've been busy. We had a break where I had some clients back to California for a week and they're coming back on Friday. So had a chance to come out and try to help Pat find some deer. And we hit a couple areas this morning and just a lot of does, nothing good. So we walked into an area that we thought maybe would, um, <coughs> excuse me, hold some bucks that maybe got pressured. There's a lot of pressure on the outside of this burn area. 
but there's no roads where we are. We walked in and sure enough found this group of bucks bedded. We actually found them on their feet and they walked down and bedded. And Pat looked at the, the three by four and said, you know what, the way it is right now, I'm, I'm willing to shoot that. His son's got some wrestling tournaments coming up this weekend and he was kind of hoping to be done, but so made a quick stock, got around, luckily found him bedded in his bed and one shot at 196 yards, it's over. The thing about this buck is when the, the bucks were in velvet when we were scouting for the archery hunt, we actually glassed this buck up and got some pretty good footage of him earlier in the year when he was still in velvet. And um, it's about well, maybe a mile and a half, two miles from here. Just happens to be, I guess, this is where he comes once he rubs his velvet off. But it's pretty cool to shoot a buck that you videoed earlier in Arizona.